this is a, I guess, not necessarily about the race. I mean, Paddle was great in the race, but Paddle Mania is uh, fully alive and well in Texas. Um, I think what we saw there is a almost F1 level stardom uh, for an IndyCar driver. And, and I have not seen this for a young, a young driver like Pato. Uh, I don't think ever in my career. Um, because obviously we had Jimmy and, and Jimmy's, you know, Jimmy's got a, a crowd of people, uh, yeah. you know, everywhere. You know, it is what it is. It's Jimmy. He's been around a long time. Uh, Roman Grosjean, you know, F1 driver, very cool. But like, I have not seen this level of hysteria for anyone. I don't think in, in my time in the IndyCar series, because, we had a great autograph session uh, on Saturday that I was blown away that people made it to because it was like 9.30 in the morning. I don't even think the gates were technically open for the track yet. Um, and like 70% of that line were in Pato t-shirts. You know what I mean? Uh, and great folks, too. Very nice people. Uh, a lot of Pato's fan base uh, were trying to kill me after Road America a couple years ago because uh, he wasn't able to pass <laughs> me and he didn't win that race. Uh, you know, that's a bit absurd still. But... I got to give all the Pato fan base a lot of credit. They were lovely people, and they were fantastic to Augustine Canapino as well because he, you know, he just learned English, so he had a ton of Spanish-speaking people to talk to there, and it was great. So I and and then seeing that video of him walking outside of his trailer to a giant crowd of people going crazy, I mean, that I thought that was a great sign for the sport. I mean, I that because that was very F one level where it's, like, really cool to see your guy. You know what I mean? And and Pato is their guy. And, and I I love that for the sport. I think that's huge. Joey, when you see people waiting for folks outside of a restaurant or celebrities, you know, paparazzi, whatever it is, like, it gave you that vibe, like, hey, that's – this is the higher level than, you know, we're all just walking into the track with our backpacks having a great time. Like, this was superstardom. Yeah, dude. Pat is, uh, Pat is the full package when you look at, at that kind of, um, you know, marketing, right? When you look at that kind of person that you want, right? He's, he, he, he's a personality. He's a hell of a driver. Uh, he's a little, little brash, right? He, Pato loves him some Pato. He'll be the first to tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, you know, he's a good looking dude. He'll be the first person to tell you that as well. Last May, he told me, I said, who's the most handsome driver in the series? He said, me, bro. Like he ran away, not even a, not even a hesitation or a, you know, oh, well, new guard or whoever's in. He oh, was yeah. just me, bro. Right. Like a lot like of gym picks, a lot of gym picks. Yeah. Right. Like he was like, why the hell did you even ask that? Yeah. Um, so he kind of, and, and, and he kind of crosses a lot of these, I wouldn't say barriers, but like, you know, when you think about somebody, you like the word transcend, right? Like you think about yes. that. I'm like, well, you know, Tiger Woods transcends just golf, you know, like <laughs> Pato is starting to, to your point, you know, I, he brings in a young crowd. I think he brings in a female crowd. He brings in an international yes. flavor. You know what I mean? Um, and those are all great things. Those are all great things. So um, that's exciting to hear, man. I, I, I was following along and, and seeing from on Pato's own, which is also another funny thing. He literally has a, a camera person following him around everywhere. Yeah. You ever, <laughs> if you've never seen Pato anywhere, he's got like a camera person right there by, which is so funny. But again, maybe that's how you get famous. Uh, I, I just need to buy a camera guy. <laughs> and honestly, I mean, that's what you got. Like, yeah, like, you, you kind of lie. You know, I kind of laugh at it because, like, oh, Pato, like, <laughs> get him to hop in the car for qualifying and he just has, like, a camera person follow him every single one. But that's what you got to do. And he knows Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right? Like, and to your point about the F1, you know, status type of thing, like, I think he also crosses that barrier where, like, he will be also the first to tell you. Yeah, dude, I would I would go race F one because of what it would do for me and for my brand. And so I think he sees what they do and how they go about it, and he's like, "Screw it, bro! I'm just gonna do like I'm gonna bring that 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 level of marketing, that kind of content, that kind of personality to IndyCar, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be the man, you know? Yeah, and he's very passionate about. Uh, you know, growing our sport as well. I think behind the scenes, like in a lot of the drivers meetings that we have, he's definitely uh, he voices his opinion for sure on, on where where he thinks we should be going as a series, which I respect. Um, but you know, we IndyCar as a series are are thankful for him. You know, you got someone who again, superstardom is much easier to achieve when you are successful, right? So that's 
super helpful for him to be, you know, almost winning every race. He's finished second now twice, so he's in the game. Um, and I think he's going to be in the game all year long. I think he's going to be, you know, one of the people that I'm going to have to beat at the Indy 500, right, for for that win. So um, it's it's exciting to see, and I just thought that was worth mentioning um, that there was that level of like, hey, this is this is this is just a higher level. Like when I walk outside the truck, you know, there was great people to sign some autographs for, but like Pato wouldn't be able to walk out of the truck without people screaming. You know what I mean? Which is great. That's big step forward. It it got me thinking too, and I and I mentioned this to some of my buddies who we always talk about. I always talk about racing with. But like, as I'm watching the end of that race and this battle of, of Pato against Joseph. And then seeing the kind of Pato frenzy, Pato mania, like you mentioned, I'm like, I said to my buddies, I said, Joseph Newgarden should be a bigger star than what he is. <laughs> yes. You, you, do you see that? Like, this is what, I mean, this should be, this should be something that's like, wow, Pato versus Joseph, you know, Mexico versus United States. Like, you know, just all this stuff, like McLaren versus Great. Pace, right? Like all these things, do you know? Oh yeah. And for the in, for the people who are in, you know, for the people who know, for the people like me and Ben and you and and the guys that I text during the race when all my other buddies are, you know, I'm golfing or whatever the hell, like we know that that's Joseph, and we know that's the kind of star he is. But I feel like again when I said transcending, transcending, like I said with Pato, I feel like there's some of that transcending that Joseph. Could do, but it's the, yeah. you know it's just maybe just not not what he's about. So yeah, I mean everyone's different, and I think part of the the IndyCar show that's going to come out. I don't think I'm going to be in it at all because they're going to focus on like the superstars, of course. And but um, until we win the Indy 500, then then I'll probably be in it. But um, but I think they're going to show you know Pato's incredible lifestyle. I think that's going to be great for our series. I think they're going to show the athleticism of the, a lot of these drivers, professionals. I do hope they spread it out a little bit to the more fun people and not just focus on certain people, but we shall see. I think there's going to be a lot of that. 